week that you guys were kind of slowing down a little bit on the install and just focusing on on what you guys have already learned so far. How do you feel like they've they've grasped that so far? Well, we're we're better. We're better than we were a week ago. Uh, they know it a little better. Uh, I think as coaches, you know, we we. Uh, really gone back what were the mistakes we were making consistent mistakes and really approaching them on not making those kind of mistakes and reteaching a little bit is there a mistake that they've been making over and over that you're no, I, yeah you know sometimes alignments in the back end you know and uh, like right now in man coverages we want to keep on the man that we have and once in a while we lose our discipline with our eyes there's still a week left of spring ball, but who's improved a lot in your eyes since first practice? You know, I, I think there's guys who are competing. You know, I to say this guy's doing really great, that wouldn't be fair because uh, uh, there's some other guys who may be doing great that I don't mention. So, you know, I, I think that as, as a group, we're starting to understand philosophically what we want to do. Uh, schematically what we want to do, how we want to pay attention in meetings and the little things that add up to the big things. How much of it is teaching versus competition at this point? <coughs> You're always teaching. I mean, uh, competition is always important every day, but you're always teaching. We got, we got to keep demanding the expectations that we see for this defense. Say that again. Where have you seen the biggest growth from day one till now? I think every position's gotten a little better. You know, I think um, the the whole message of one gap defense, you know, has taken a little longer than you know I would have hoped. But just the mentality you want to play with. Is that just something that because it's new, or is that something that you would think? Well, I think it's anything. Anything's new. You know, guys don't play as fast. They don't maybe grasp it as as, as uh, quickly as we want. Brady Daquan McDowell was a, a walk-on last year. Was new to defense. Is it fair to say he's kind of taking advantage of that clean slate? You know, I think he's a guy who makes a lot of plays for us right now. Uh, uh, he plays fast. He seems to understand uh, things, and uh, I was pretty impressed with him to this point. Uh, he still has to be more consistent in what we're doing. Brady, does, does living in the, the hotel room during this process, is that, is that almost like a good thing for you? Just it's awesome. To... <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, you know, I'm, I don't know, three quarters of a mile down the street. So um, everybody asks me, what do you know about Eugene? I know this building and the residence in. <laughs> but is, is that kind of by design at all? Because, at all? I mean, th th this is probably the most intensest part you guys have up until, you know, full camp starts. Like, yeah. To, to help that. Yeah, I don't know if it's by design, but it's, you know, um, if I was living in a home, it wouldn't change. Uh, I'm kind of a creature of habit. So. When, when, uh, when do you think the family's going to move out? Well, there's just the two of us. Yeah. Uh, our daughter lives in Nashville, uh, so we, uh, she'll be out sometime in May, but I'll be gone most of May, so we'll make it work. Is, is that something that just coaches are used to at this point? You know, the... When you move ten times, you get used to it. Is she used to it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brady, with a week to go until the spring game, do you feel like there's anything that needs to happen before next Saturday for you to feel comfortable showing off this team? Yeah, I, you know, we just got to keep improving. We're not going to put anything else in. Um, we really put one thing in today. Uh, would like to get more looks of it on uh, Monday because we didn't get the amount of looks today like I would have liked to. But, yeah, just playing faster, you know, and playing more aggressive. You know, uh, made a comment about here in football. Here in football, you know, consistently, you know, when you're out on the field. Can you, <coughs> that, can you see when a guy's thinking too much out there? Can yeah, no doubt. They don't play fast, you know, and uh, some of it is uh, always our part. Maybe we didn't teach it well enough. Maybe we haven't done a good enough job, you know, uh, in the details. But they also, you know, like we've told them, they have a responsibility that they've got to do a great job of learning. Does it show that some guys maybe know your defensive playbook better than other guys out there? Some guys study. Always does. 
it always does. You know, some guys are visual, some guys have to do it. Some guys can look at cut ups from uh, another team and, you know, kind of visualize it that way. Any groans from not being on an iPad but being on paper from the guys? No, I don't think so. I think they're all good. Uh, you had obviously a year off from coaching last season. Mm -hmm. Did you miss coaching, or was it kind of nice to have a year off to kind of maybe look no, at it I from the outside? No, I miss the I mean, I miss being with those guys. My favorite time of day is when we start meetings with them and out here on the field. So I really miss that part of it in the competitiveness. Yeah, obviously last year you came here for a visit. Did that in any ways help uh, you decide to come here? Or? No, no. Sure, who knew if I was going to coach again? I didn't know that either. <laughs> Does it take any time for other coaches to learn your playbook too? Like, yeah. like, like when did they get that? Well, we started after recurring really in our meetings and trying to um, look at things that uh, I want to do and how we want to do it. So, that, you know, there's always, you know, guys learn different terminology, different methods of, you know, how you take a spike stuff or whatever, you know, whatever it might be, you know, or how you're going to play man coverage. So it always, there's a learning process there too. Coach Pelham said that they ran a 4-3 when Nick Aliotti was defensive coordinator. Have the guys, the coaches rather, referenced that at all when you guys go back and forth about you? No, no, you know, Nick came out and visited us at Michigan after the 2011 season. And you know, we talked about some of the stuff we were doing four, three wise. He was there for a couple of days, and you know, so um, from that standpoint, with the coaches, you know, I think uh, you know we may be a little different than what Nick was, but I'm sure there's some similarities because there were some things that he liked what we were doing that he was going to take back here. So, as a fan of Oregon, would would you tell them that maybe you, you, they will see some similar things to years back in the alley? Well, year? yeah, I, I would I would think so. And <clears throat> look, even though they were a two-gap team a year ago, they got into reduced fronts and some four-three looks.